Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm recording this. Um, I am, if you're coming here and you are new, my name's Diane, and I am the uh, owner of DL Stein's Designs on um, Facebook. You'll find it on the unofficial DL Stein's Designs. And I'm also here on um, Facebook. Um, and if you had checked in, um, I have some of my videos from this is YouTube. <laughs> I have my Facebook videos over here, so if you watched me. Um, I like to do a little bit of everything. Um, I like to paint furniture, sew, make jewelry, um, paint some art, um, you name it. I'm, I'm an all-around, I'm one of them people who likes to try it all. Are you one of them people? You just can't help yourself? you just like, I have to try it. So, um, here I am. So, I'm thinking today is Tuesday, and I'm going to have a tip for you. Tipsy Tuesday. How's that? Um, uh, if you have been around for a little bit yet, and you're in the art world, um, you have heard of the acrylic, acrylic flow painting, or pour paintings, and um, where you take um, your paint, and you mix it with some flood or flow troll you find this in um, Lowe's or Home De Depot in the paint owl where the spray guns are and it it helps it's a medium that helps thin your paint out so it flows better through the gun and um, this also um, is what we're going to use in our flow medium but I'm not going to do a painting today um, I will show you when I am done um, one that I have made. Um, so, but today um, I just have a few minutes and I want to show you a tip that I am trying out. I'm not sure if this is right or wrong. This is what I am trying out. And um, so it saves me some time in the evening because I don't have a lot of time um, to mess around. And if I want to paint, you know, or I want to do something real quick, I want to be able to pour it out dump it in and there you go so um, the first thing you're gonna need is your paint and um, what I'm using is the apple barrel paints and I get these at Walmart for like 50 cents now they do have metallic paints and this one's by folk art very nice paint um, it's a little more. I think it's a dollar ninety-seven, and they also have gloss paint, so it's different little variations, but really very inexpensive. So you need your paint, you need your flood, and you need a um, oops, clear drinking bottle, water bottle, iced tea. Do not get the green bottles. I'll tell you what. I mean, you can. You have to open the lid, but it just, the, the, you will not be able to see your colors nicely through the green. Other, you know, you have to like open them up. If this is all you got, it will work. It's just the bottle. You just have to open it up and look in there and see what color you have. Um, but uh, these ones, um, you can see right through them. So um, they give you split. You can also get. At Walmart, I found these, probably the container store. Walmart had these for 97 cents in the um, kitchen aisle. And they are the squeeze bottles for your condiments. And um, I see a lot of people online put their um, their whites, you know, their main colors in these. And they just squeeze out. So, like, their whites, their blacks. And I have white mixed up and I have black mixed up. So, it is ready to go. So, I thought, why not do a couple other primary colors that I like to use. So first thing you do is you get your empty bottle. And what you want to do is take um, the cap off. The white cap. Get it off. And just pour this whole thing. And I just set it on top. I just kind of squished it in there a little bit. It just about fits. And I just let it drain. So you can see that it just drip, 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 drip down the bottom and then what I do be very careful with this stick you take your flood 
again, blood found at Lowe's or Home Depot, and you fill it up with however how much um, you like. I, I fill it um, not quite to the top, almost to the top, and it seems it worked for me real well. Put the lid on. Shake it up. And get the paint and the flood mixed up a little bit in the bottle. That way you get all the extra goodness out of there. And then it pours right in. Thins it right out. And then I just let it sit there on top. Okay? This one I already did. I didn't shake it up beforehand. Then you want to take some bottled water. If you live in the country like me, I have oil water. Um, I found that um, bottled water works for this. I don't put a whole lot. I put enough in there just to thin it out. I'm not an exact measurement kind of girl. And that bothers you, then um, you may want to turn your off. But shake it up. I mean, worse comes to worse, you go go to Walmart, buy another 50 cent bottle of paint, and add it up. It's not, you know, it's not rocket scientist. You just add the water, and um, the bottle comes pretty darn clean. You get a lot of the paint out of there. So, um, and then you take your lid, you put it on. I mean, you do these paintings, you do enough of them, you get a real good idea of your consistency and what you like. What's too watery, what's too thick, and then you shake, shake, shake. Okay. Um, another tip uh, is you can add a marble in here and um, it will distribute the paint a lot better, but there's enough room in here. This is not completely full. So, and there you go. And you can see you can see that if you want you can um, write on there Admiral Blue you know if you're real particular about those things and your paint is ready to go so you have plenty of paint unless you're doing a humongous canvas you have plenty of paint for a while and this should keep for a while if you keep the lid on it and keep it tight so um, depending on how often you go about painting if I uh, I get in it, I lost my water. Darn it. Okay, there's. Um, sometimes I I can get going on a few um, things and paint, and um, I can go through a ton of paint, and then sometimes I move on to something else for a while. So then it makes it a little bit. So shake, shake, shake. I said I put about half, maybe not quite half. So, pour it in. Dispose of that. Like I said, if you're really anal about it, you write the name of the paint on there. I just kind of go with the color, and there you go. And that's all there is. You're ready to flow paint, pour paint, to your heart's desire. So, let me grab something here that I did today. Still a little bit wet. And hopefully I won't get the drip. If you could see it, I don't want the drippy drip off, but... It's due to it, but that's just a towel coaster. And let's see, what else do I have? Hold on, don't go away. I'm coming back. I have a talk about not being prepared even in a recording, but. This is an example. This is not a real good example, but there it is. 
So if you go to my Facebook page, um, Unofficial D.L. Stein Designs, I will have the link down below. Also, um, D.L. Stein's Design at uh, Wix.com, I think it is my um, web page currently. I am working on it, but I'll have that link down below too. And check out some of my other videos here on YouTube. And um, if you're interested in this medium and um, want to try more, um, go to YouTube and um, type in acrylic pour and um, you will get um, a bunch of bunch of stuff. So this is a Tipsy Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and um, go create something. Go have fun.